All right, so in the last video, I showed you how to set up Selenium 2 WebDriver and then conduct a quick test to control the behavior of the browser. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to conduct a JUnit test. Essentially, JUnit is a lightweight framework for conducting repeatable tests in Eclipse. So let's go over a quick example. First, let's set up a Java project. So from your main workbook in Eclipse, click File, New, and then Project. Select the Java project. And then we just need to type the name of the project. So in this case, I'm just going to use Test, and then Project. And then under the Project Layout, select Use Project Folder as Root for Sources and Class Files. So since this is a small example, I'm not too concerned about organization. And then click Next, and then Finished. And then go ahead and click Yes here. Okay, so now we need to set up a new package in class. So to create a new package, right click on the project, click New, and then Package. I'm just gonna name this Test, Finish. And then to create a class, right click on the package, select new class, and then I'm just gonna name this JUnit, and click finish. Okay, so let's create the class now. If you already have one in mind, you can use that, but make sure it's relatively simple so you can understand how the JUnit tests work. So I'm just going to create a class that concatenates two strings and also multiplies two numbers. Okay, so I'm just going to say public string concatenate string one and then string two. And then I'm going to return 1 plus 2. So then for the next method, I'm going to use public. Let's call it multiply. And let's do two numbers here. times number two. Just go ahead and save that. Okay, so next we need to set up the JUnit tests. So before I start, I'd just like to note that the help menu in Eclipse is really well documented. It shows in great detail how to set up and run a JUnit test. So let's just follow that guide. So I'm just going to go to help. Help contents. Just go ahead and pull this over. I'll go ahead and search for JUnits. Writing and running JUnit tests. Okay, so as the docs indicate, we want to open up a new wizard. So file, new, JUnit test case. So file, new, JUnit test case. Go ahead and call this one concat test. Click finish. So now the only changes that we need to make are to the method. So I'll go ahead and take this out here. I'll go ahead and rename this to concatenate. I'll call this JUnit test equals new. JUnit. That's actually the lowercase. String results equals test dot concatenate. And I'll just use one and two for the strings. And then I'll do assert equals 
So the result should be one, two. Let's just do comma result. Let me go ahead and save that. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the uh, next test. So I'm just going to go to File, New, JUnit Test Case. We'll call this one Multiply Test. Okay, finish. So again, I'm going to change the method here. Call this Test Multiply. Let me just copy some of this from over here to save some time. So JUnit test equals new JUnit. It's going to be an integer, integer result, test dot multiply. And let's multiply three and four. And three times four is going to be 12. So I'll go ahead and save that. So let's go ahead and run the tests. And they should both be successful if we set them up right. So let me run the uh, multiply one first. And that was a success. As long as it's green, that means it's a success. We can see that failures is zero. So let me test the concatenate one now. And that's a success as well. And so let me go ahead and uh, just make a couple changes here to show you what happens when they fail. So let me, I'll just put a space in that one. And then I'll change the method here to plus. Save that. Save that. I'll go ahead and run that. So you can see there's a failure. and then a failure there as well. So let me go ahead and change those back. Just go ahead and save that. Okay, so next you can combine these tests into a test suite. So let's go ahead and actually let me go ahead and open up the help here. So to do a test suite, you want to open the new wizard, select Java, JUnit, JUnit Test Suite. So to do that, click this button here. Java's already selected, JUnit, JUnit Test Suite, click Next. I'll go ahead and leave this all tests. We're selecting both of the classes. We do finish. So let me just go ahead and run that. And you can see that there are two classes there and both were successful. And so this is uh, useful for running nightly tests to just ensure that any code committed during the day didn't break anything. Okay, well, I hope that all makes sense. And in the next video in the series, I'll show you a more complicated JUnit test and then demonstrate how to debug any failures that may occur. And thanks for watching.